Hey, this is Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros. Today we are going to be removing and reinstalling the high voltage battery in a 2006 Generation 2 Toyota Prius. So to get started, go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the paneling and to access the battery, remove the back panel. Remove this guy. Move the side pieces, just pop right out. Remove your 12 volt cover. Remove this back piece of trim. You're going to pop it up out of place. Next, you are going to remove the negative cable from the 12 volt battery, which is located in the passenger rear. 12 volt is disconnected. The most important part of the job is to remove the high voltage battery service plug, which is located right here. And to do that, you lift up, pull it out and remove. Now it's safe to work on the battery and we're ready to go ahead and remove the rest of the paneling and go ahead and get the battery out. So this, the battery cover the panel that covers the high voltage battery needs to be removed. To do that, you have two 10 millimeter bolts or two clips that need to be removed on each side of the flaps. And they just pop right out. Go ahead and remove the flaps and the cover. Next, using a 14 millimeter socket, you will remove the four mounting bolts for the back seats. Go ahead and slide your seats up and out of the way. Next, we're going to remove the paneling. There's a couple 10 millimeter bolts, one up here, one there, and one inside here. And when you remove this side, be careful, there are some, some clips in here, just pop them out. Now the driver's side, you are going to want to disconnect this wiring harness back here and you just push it down, push in the little pin and pop it out. And this is for the light, the wiring harness for the light. It's also easiest to come around to the front side and then with this panel, you lift it up and pull it towards you and then you can kind of slide this panel out, remove the seat belt, and it's ready to remove. Now remove the passenger side, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter here, and 10 millimeter inside. And again, grab this panel, Lift it up, pull it towards you. Be careful with your plastic clips. I like to get my hand in behind. Help pop them out. You'll feel them. It's hard plastic. And then remove this paneling. Now we are ready to remove the high voltage battery. First, we're going to remove this vent. And to do that, you'll want to have some uh, needle nose pliers or something to pry these plastic clips out. There's a couple throughout the pack. But we're going to remove that and remove this vent. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the mounting brackets for the battery. Uh, with, and there's a series of 12 millimeter bolts that need to be removed in order to remove these brackets. And I'm also going to be doing the same thing over here with this bracket. There's 12 millimeters on the side and on the top. 
once you have all the 12 millimeters out, both these brackets will, will be removed. vent tube and there is a plastic clip right here that removes the bottom outlet vent next we're going to go ahead and remove this panel which will expose our high voltage lines and these are 10 millimeter bolts there are there are two 10 millimeter nuts here and three 10 millimeter bolts. All right, to disconnect the high voltage lines, uh, you'll remove these two nuts here. And there are eight millimeters. And then you can go ahead and pull these off, set them off to the side. Unhook all of our wiring harnesses. There are three of them. Just pinch, just press it in the little clip and pull them out. Disconnect. And now we're ready to go ahead and remove our 12 millimeter mounting bolts and pull this battery out. There are three mounting bolts on this side. And there are two in the rear. and safely unhooked and ready to be removed. This is the battery that we just pulled out of the customer's car. This is the new battery that they're buying. This is the brand new aftermarket hybrid battery for a Gen 2 Prius. I'm gonna take the cover off of this one, put it on this one, uh, and then I'm gonna reinstall it back into the vehicle. Never put a dirty battery into somebody's car. <laughs> Once you have your battery in place, go ahead and make sure that the holes line up, that the battery's sitting properly. Then you can go ahead and run your high voltage lines. Go ahead and tighten these eight millimeter nuts down. Next, hook your wiring harnesses back up. There's three of them, and they only fit one way, so you're not gonna you're not gonna get them wrong. Next, go ahead and get this exit vent tube, put it back in the bottom, and it kind of slides right in there. You might have to fish around with it a little bit. It's this retaining clip here on the back side. Replace your vent tube if you need to. 
with the aftermarket batteries you don't need to so we're just going to leave it also go ahead and replace your mounting twelves the larger one always goes on the front at the driver's side it's very important that you don't tighten these down yet so you can still remove the battery as you need to. At this point, go ahead and replace this cover using your 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Go ahead and tighten all your 10 millimeters down. Now we can go ahead and put our mounting bracket on. Now that all the 12 millimeters are in, all of our mounting brackets are in, we're ready to go ahead and tighten down all of our 12 mils in one uh, action. Make sure your seat belt's out of the way. Go ahead and slide your seat into place. And you'll run these mounting brackets over the top. And you'll see how they fit in. There's a little notch here. And then the mounting bolt goes, of course, in the threads. It also helps to lift up on them and get them started. Do not cross thread these. They are infamous for cross threading. Just make sure you get them in there proper. All right, now using your 14 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten these down. Replace the fan vent tube. Place the plastic clap caps. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our side panels back on. Set it in place. Make sure your seat belt's up and out of the way. Go ahead and run your seat belt. And you'll see the little plastic clips here that you have to line up and just kind of tap it back into place. Now with this panel you're going to lift it up and push it and then it sits back down. Go ahead and put the rest of your pop the rest of your clips back in. Now you're ready to go ahead and put your 10 millimeter here. 10 millimeter black screw here and your mounting rings. Go ahead and put your driver's side panel on. Start by hooking up the wiring harness to the back of the light. Push it in until it clips. Go ahead and line your clips up. Kind of get them started. Go to the front. Make sure your seatbelt is run. Continue to pop it into place. Lift this panel up, over, seat it back down, and replace your 10 millimeters. I'll tighten them all down. and replace the battery cover. There are two plastic clips. And secure 
here are the flaps down to the back side of the seat. Seat belts. Go ahead and replace your rear trim, rear piece of trim. Sit right in and pop it down. We're going to go ahead and put our service plug back in with the numbers facing up slide it in back here you might have to fish around for it find out where the plug is push it in cover comes up to lock it into place and then push it down and now the service plug is installed go ahead and hook your 12 volt negative back up Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more battery videos coming out, uh, especially with hybrids. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.